So, um, I was going to be starting work um, on making a phase change heat pump using R600A refrigerant. Um, I got two compressors um, off fridges that had been flung away because they've lost all their refrigerant. These are, uh, that's a TLS 5K compressor and this one is uh, a TLX 5.7 KK.3 um, The only difference I can really see is it's got a run capacitor on it um, Now this one The good thing about having two compressors is this one I could use to suck all the air out of the system um, and It's got a quarter inch BSP fitting on it Which will eventually turn this into another silent compressor And this one will be the one for doing the refrigerant And I'll put a service valve on there and the way I managed to solder these connections was by using an HHO gas torch which is just a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen it just splits uh, the water up and it's not good for brazing because it's highly oxidising you just get a load of slag and the joint is just rubbish but it's great for uh, heating up the joint for soldering and the first thing I wanted to explore was reusing these filter dryers. Um, I was thinking that, well, I could heat it up um, and I should be able to get all the moisture out of it. So I'll heat it off with my torch just now and see if we can get anything. Now, these could be bought fairly cheaply on eBay. I think you could get them for about £2. Um, but the point of this is to try and reuse them. This one's been done already and I just braised an extension tube on it um, which will go to the um, to the condenser I think yeah the condenser that's a hot side um, obviously you can use this one because the capillary tube's too short so I'll get it heated up and we should hopefully see the condensation forming inside there another problem with these torches is as you can see it, it does spread condensation uh, because it's obviously just making water when, when the flame burns and all I've done is I've sort of clamped the capillary tube inside um, clear plastic tube in here and it's just on a foot pump and all I'm doing is uh, putting the air back through the capillary tube but you don't want to do it the other way just in case uh, dirt and whatever else gets caught in it and then blocks it and then the whole thing becomes useless so now we've got it heated up if we use the foot pump well there will be some smoke coming out because there will be oil, a small amount of oil inside this too but there is condensation forming on the inside the tube which shows that moisture is coming out so that is a good way of reusing these filter dryers um, I'm not sure how effective that will be but the other issues I'll have to sort out is um, what refrigerant I'm going to use I, can, I understand I could use R600A or propane or or butane um, or isobutane um, you can use these sorts of things but the issue is what sort of connection is on the canisters and how to get it in there so I have to try and think of that too so I'll hopefully be more about that soon